Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are looking at SPUM. S-P-U-M. It stands for something, I don't really know what. But what it is, is a sprite character creator used in Unity. And this one is actually kind of cool, I gotta admit. And it's part of the Unity Mega Bundle that is on right now. Now, if you're regular to this channel, I covered this back on the 5th, so two days ago. Uh, it's running for a week's time. And the funny thing is, this one apparently is only available in Asia Pacific. At least it's only being advertised in Asia Pacific. Well, except for here on Kate from Scratch. So this one uh, isn't really meant for us, but it works. You can buy it. So if you want to check it out, it's a great chance to get a number of Unity assets for, like, a pretty low price. Basically, if there's one asset in here you really like the look of, it pays for the entire bundle. Mega Bundles are a pretty solid deal. So that is what we're looking at, the Handpicked Deals Mega Bundle. Uh, five hours, 20, um, five almost six hours left in this one. And you're going to see what we're looking at is here in the middle tier, and we are looking at Spum. So here is Spum. We'll come back and take a look at some of the details of it uh, after the demonstration. Also going to come back and show you uh, an open source alternative to Spum. Also, there is a free version of Spum available. So we'll get to all that in just a second. But I want to start with a hands-on demonstration of what Spum is all about. So here we are in the um, Unity editor in my project, a pain in the Spum. And what I'm going to do now is uh, show you how to use it. I've already imported it. To import it, fairly straightforward process. Once again, go into your package. Package manager, go to your built in packages, uh, sorry, your um, assets. For some reason, I'm not signed in because, of course, I'm not. Search for Spum, add it, and import it into your project. Once it's done, you will find uh, a new folder here called Spum. And then what you want to do is go inside of Spum and open up Scene, Spum Scene. And here you go. This is uh, Spum in action. And all you do basically is run this guy. Now, what I'm going to be using is a full screen tool. Uh, this was available in one of the previous Mega Bundles or um, Humble Bundles. You can run it right here in this little window. But I've got this guy running right here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open that guy up. All right. So here we've got Spum. And this is pretty straightforward on the whole. You can use this, basically, a number of different characters. You're creating them by composition. And the actual final character, fully animated, is a compound character, which is actually quite nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. We can make this guy a little bit bigger. That's as big as we can go. And you've got a number of different body, um, base body styles to work from. So those are the ones there. By the way, you can add your own if you wish. Uh, it's not really well documented, so you're a little bit on your own. But I'll show you some of the process in a bit. So pick your base character. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make a dark elf. So let's go there. I think that is the base dark elf. And then you basically just start going through and picking pieces for it. So for example, we could do the eyes. Pick a different set of eyes. Here we've got the hair. So let's do uh, Goku style hair. There's always a Goku style hair. Yeah, there it is. All right. Well, Goku, of course, is blonde. So hit the C. The C is color. We'll make the hair blonde. There you go. So we've got our naked Goku going on. You can do facial hair here as well. What you'll notice here. So we've got color random and delete and then also we've got a lock so if you're doing things like randomizing all of the things you can lock in that particular piece so if you want to make sure that all your characters have goku hair you can lock that in and then if we randomize things it will not be uh, taken away so that's what all the controls are so we can randomly go through the various different facial hair we decide okay we don't want facial hair we can get rid of it that way uh, we got a number of different helmets uh, available here as well now obviously i like my goku hair so i'm not going to add a helmet uh shirts or upper parts. Uh, there's two parts to this. There's also like a shoulders aspect. So let's do like a, I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of goku -y. And then pants, like so. And then you got, again, shoulders. So let's pick something sort of like the Super Saiyan thing. All right, as close as we get. All right, there we go. So there is our character. We can add a cape because, of course, you're going to have a cape. Uh, so let's do that one. Probably don't want it to be purple, even though I'm perfectly fine with purple. Uh, oh, color doesn't seem to change on capes. Okay. And now if you want, you can add weapons, main hand and off hand. So here we go. Uh, main hand here. Let's go ahead and give him. So you got a number of different weapons available. Uh, let's give him a, an axe. And then in the off hand, let's give him a shield. All right, there we go. So there is Knight Goku uh, with a sword and a shield. And by the way, if we really want, uh, I'll, I'll do that in a second. So here we go. This guy is fully rigged. What we're seeing right now is the idle animation. We could do a run animation, the death animation. And then depending on if it's a melee or a bow or a magic character, you've got special attacks available there. And the skill is kind of a more of a jumping chop thing there. So you've got rigged characters available. And by the way, yes, you can put them. Oops, wrong one. Right here, you can put them on a horse. So there he is our character on a horse. <laughs> so... 
Uh, you want to have a, a running knight mounted horse, you can do so that as well. So that is Spum. When you are done with your character, you like the sprites that you have created, you just hit save unit and you will see it saved. This one is saved as unit.002. You can set that down here, by the way. So uh, if we want to get rid of the horse, we could just delete the horse and we could save that unit. Now we have 003 created. And that is the Spum process. So I'm going to come out of that. Uh, we're going to stop running it and we're going to go from there. So in order to run that guy, it's all under Spum Manager. And by the way, you can see here, all of these scripts are available. So if you want to modify Spum to be, be formed differently, you can do so. You've also got the ability to bring in your own sprite sheets and they also have their own uh, add-ons for sale. I'll show you those when we get back to the other part in just a second. Uh, but you can see here, using the manager, you can... Um, pretty much uh, add new pieces in, or you could go into one of these sprite sheets, a uh, variety of different sprite sheets and uh, edit them yourself. So if you wanna add new weapons, new hairstyles, new whatever, should be a fairly straightforward process for you. Uh, you've got a lot of decent, nice final control over what's going on there. And then now that we are done, we're gonna basically go back here into the spum folder. You're going to find no. Resources. It puts them in resources. So we go to your assets, resources, spum, and then you're going to find spum units. And there are our characters. So let's go with the, the knight that we made the first time. So we go here. There is our character showing up right there. Let's. These are prefabs, by the way. So the nice thing is you can actually just take these characters out, like grab this guy, drop it in your project of choice, and you now have an animated ready to go sprite. So open this one up, and there you can see. Uh, the entire sprite hierarchy and everything here is composed of various different bits. So uh, the animations are all hierarchical characters. So it, it basically created a dynamic character for you. If you go to the root of the character, you're going to find there is an animator or an animation controller there. This one is for the horse animations. And we'll open that one up. And let's open up the run animation. So there is the run animation. All of the various different pieces are uh, shown. By the way, you can edit the sprites. If you do edit the sprite, uh, you've got the ability to go up to the root and you can resync. So if you make changes, you can uh, resync the sprite and have the changes come in. So we got, again, let's go to our animator, our animation, our run animation. Let's drop our horse in there so we can see it in action. And there you go. So this is how easy it is to create prefab sprite characters using Spum. And again, you can add your own stuff there as well. Now, if for some reason you're actually not using Unity as your final result, or you want to work with a sprite sheet, well, they've got you covered there as well. If you go back to the Spum folder here, you're going to find Sprite Sheet Exporter Beta. And what you do is open this guy up, go to the scene, open up the uh, Sprite Sheet Manager, so like so. Uh, you bring, basically bring in the sprite you want to work with. So once again, those are under resources, spum, spum units. And let's do the, the non-horse one. So boom, bring him in. And we'll do that as a swordsman, like so. Go ahead and play that. There is our character. You can see it right there. Now, I find the default sprite to be really, really tiny. So what I'm going to do is jack that up to uh, one. All right, there you go. So we definitely got a lot bigger for our character. And then when you're happy with that, you basically just do a make sprite sheets. Now, what I did find is when I first did this, uh, there is a folder missing. It looks for in your assets, a screenshot folder. So here you can see I've done one of these in the past. I had to create this directory. So I got an error the first time I ran this. Again, it is flagged as experimental. So do be aware of that. Uh, but once you've got it, basically go ahead, say make the sprite sheets. And what it'll do is run through all of the different frames of animation render the sprites for you. Let's see if it's just not updating. One second. I might have to be in run mode. One second for this. Yeah, that was my bad. I had to be in run mode for it. And you'll see this message, no cameras rendering. And at the bottom, it's doing its whole thing. It's going to go through the uh, different frames that it's so it's generating the death frames and so on. By the way, you can set the frame rate that you want the animations to play at in the sprite sheet right here. So it's going to do eight frames per second by default. And it should be here. Oh, is it overwriting them? It is. Okay, so that's the challenge. It only creates one set of sprites. So it automatically overwrites whatever was there before. So do be aware of that. I think I can actually set the name here. So it was making it all along. I was just being stupid. Um, so we can also go with this bum 
exporter manager set, there are advanced settings here as well. So you can control over exactly how it is rendered, how the animations play, what animations you actually want to render out. Uh, so if you added your own or wanted to create your own, uh, you could do so as well. And then once you've got your sprites rendered, what they are basically is a set of sprite sheets with all of the frames of animation available. So now what you can do is basically take these out and use them in whatever uh, engine you want. Now, one of the downsides I see here, and you might have to play around a bit, is you're seeing their, uh, their clipping. So, for example, this guy in his jump attack is moving out of his own frame. So that's going to be a little problematic. Uh, otherwise, all the animations seem to work fine other than the special attack where he jumps out of frame. And that might be something that you can fix by playing around with uh, these particular settings here. But again, this uh, sprite sheet renderer is considered an experimental thing. And I don't think many people are going to use it because it's really only relevant if you're using Spum, but you're not exporting or you're not using it in Unity. Whereas in Unity, you're getting prefabs with all the animation support built in. So you're going to work that way instead. Like your end result is generally going to be um, these guys right here, these prefabs we've created. So... Um, once, you, once you've got, oops, I'm still running. Uh, once you've got your character created, it's generally this that you will work with. This is what you'll drop in your project of choice, these prefabs here. And again, fully rigged, fully animated, and everything else. And you can update them, resync the sprites out, and so on. So that there is Spump. Uh, again, it is part of the, what is this actually called? The Handpicked Deals Mega Bundle. By the way, if you buy this using my link below, I get a small commission, so thank you if you do so. Um, it's a great deal. As long as there's at least one asset in here you're interested in, uh, pick it up. Uh, and by the way, if there's anything else here you really want to see me cover, uh, if you're wondering or you're on the fence about picking it up, let me know. Pretty straightforward. And like I said in the uh, Mega Bundle video I did like a couple days ago, we've had a lot of Unity covers, coverage lately. So I don't want to overdo it. But if there's anything here you really want to see, uh, do let me know. I know some people are showing interest in, in Puppet Face, for example. Um, Master Audio, uh, and a couple of others, or Emerald AI. I think those are the ones that most people expressed interest in in the last video, in addition to Spum. Uh, so if there's something you really want to see, I may be able to cover one or two more before the bundle ends in about six days. Uh, so again, this is a bundle aimed at the Asia Pacific market, but it's kind of sweet that it's still going on. And by the way, speaking of still going on, uh, the Humble Bundle, uh, the FPS Humble Bundle for Unity is actually still running for a couple more days as well. I'll throw that in the link down below if you didn't pick that one up. So as I mentioned earlier on, the creator here, Sun Sun, uh, they have uh, character packs. So if you're wanting more spum generators or content and you're not going to create your own, uh, you can get retro heroes, undead monsters, orcs, and pixel units basic pack. Uh, they're about five to six bucks a piece. So if you want to get some add-ons for spum, uh, they have uh, these add-on packs available so you can extend the type of characters and or the type of equipment available in spum itself. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, there's also a free version of um, Pixel Maker if you want to play with it free. I, I think the license basically just limits you from redistribution, but I have no idea to be honest. It actually says um, one is under the, the Unity license, the other one is under uh, the commercial license, but there's, there's no details there. But you can see here, uh, you can't redistribute for commercial use after reprocessing. If you want the tool after reprocessing, please contact the manufacturer. So one of those things to be aware of. And you can only use them. Oh, no, oh, created through. So, okay, I'm not 100% certain what the limitations of the free version of Spum are. Um, you can see here. Yeah, so here's the details I've got. Please note, Spum can only be legally downloaded from these two sources, GitHub under the free license. But I can't find the free license. So I have no idea uh, what the limitations of this free version are. Also looks like it hasn't been updated in a little while, but there is a free version if you want to go ahead and check that out. It is ultimately a Unity package, so it works the same way. Uh, also, if you're not all about the Unity, but you like the concept of what we just looked at, or you are looking for additional character sheets that you could use in Spum, check out the Universal Sprite Sheet Creator. Uh, I did a video on this in the past. It's running really slow right now, so I'm not going to show it to you. Uh, but it's built on the uh, Liberated Pixel Cup assets, which, by the way, are available here and these are, there are a ton of base characters and so on um and uh, actually there's a ton here actually more than just characters but you could bring these in and use them in spum as well so if you want to extend spum uh see a number of uh clothing options and so on the liberated pixel cup has a ton of things in it so if you're interested in 
uh, extending it, definitely check out the uh, Liberated Pixel Cup. And if you are looking for a tool but you do not want to use this one, try that uh, character generator I was talking about, the Universal Sprite Sheet Character Creator. Same kind of concept, but it's, uh, it's web-based as opposed to built inside of Unity. So that is it. That is the Unity Mega Bundle that's on now. And what we looked at today was Spum. Now, the funny thing before I go, because I am an immature person, Spum sounded kind of uh, rude to me. And the funny thing is, so I searched for Spum earlier and I searched for Unity, you know, to get the asset page quickly. And when you search for Spum Unity, you get, did you mean sperm? <laughs> and the funniest thing is, it wasn't actually sperm I was thinking of when I thought Spum sounded kind of pervy. It, it was actually similar, but not the word I was thinking of. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Spum uh, for Unity. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Also, let me know what you think of the Mega Bundle. Again, this wasn't meant for North American distribution, but hey... Uh, it works. So if you want to check that one out, a great deal for Unity developers. And that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.